Today, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I use to improve my film developing at home. Let's get into it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Developing film at home is the most affordable way to shoot film. I've been developing film at home for a few years now and I've picked up a few different things and worked them into my processing workflow uh, to hopefully improve things or at the very least made the process more enjoyable. So I'll show you some of those things and uh, let's get into it, shall we? The first item on the list is great. Well, not exactly. First item on the list is a sink grate. Now, what you see here is a good way to spend $3 at Dollarama. With this, bottles rest flat in the sink. Why is that nice? It's great because bottles stay where they're put, making it easier to pour and to focus on what you're doing. Plus, you can still drain the water. I love these things. Next up on the list is a nice graduated cylinder. Now, you can use just about anything when measuring your liquids when processing film. Some are better than others for various reasons I won't get too far into. So this is what I use for the majority of my measuring. And I use it for C41 or mixing developer for a black and white film. It's easy to read, it's tempered glass, and something about it just feels nice. Now, I'm always trying to improve my process or at the least try to keep it as consistent as possible. And hopefully my results will be predictable, right? To do that, I need to make sure my temperatures are consistent and right where I need them to be. So I've learned that not all thermometers are the same and some thermometers can drift over time. After getting five different readings on five different thermometers, I decided it was time to finally invest in a calibratable thermometer. So this one sent me back about $20 or about a third of the cost of all of the thermometers that I bought that have failed me. If I suspect that my temperatures are off or maybe my paranoia is setting in, I can calibrate it with some ice cubes and settle my anxiety for the next six and a half minutes. Now, this one is a game changer. It definitely made me step up my film processing workflow and made things much easier. Prior to having an electronically controlled tabletop jacuzzi, I was just using hot water in my sink. Now, in the sink, you can still get the right temperatures, sustain them, and everything will work out fine, but with the sous vide, it is much easier. Just dial it in and let it do its thing. I still make sure my bottles are the optimal temperature before getting down to business. And there we go. Now, last but not least, the last thing on the list that helped me improve my skills when processing film at home is my own dedicated film dryer. So this old girl is the industrial unit. She can dry four rolls of film at one time by applying Centrifugal force, did I say that right? This thing does about 1500 RPM to eliminate your excess moisture from your cat photos. So after working this into my process, not only does my film dry faster, but it dries cleaner with less water spots or streaks. Uh, it's fun, uh, it's inexpensive, and hey, let's be honest, I'm spinning a lot more film than I am salad, so. Those are five things that I've worked into my process to improve my film developing skills at home. So most of them are available for less than 20 bucks. So a really great way to step it up to the next level. Was there something on the list that I'd missed? Or who knows, is there something that you do that is better? I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, well, it's been fun. Until next time, we'll see you later.